through uh, this pandemic, not even through this pandemic, but are suffering such economically and, and such life, loss of their livelihood, and, and now have been targeted uh, through this uh, these last now four nights of this ordeal. Uh, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm, think, I'm thankful that uh, you know, I'm thankful that our officers, while they're valiantly going out there, their injuries to this point and uh, across the city have not involved a death, uh, but. But I'm troubled. The, the, the level of, of this escalation. You know, the first second night was isolated events. Last night certainly was not. And the, the amount of, of attacks on our officers was was extraordinary. And it, it goes back generations to find a similar time. And tonight, unfortunately, today is is uh, is matching that. And so, you know, the steps that we're taking are extreme. Uh, but we're going to start every moment. We're going to start every day, as we did this morning with a, with the sun coming up. With let's there's hope. There, there's a hope that we can. Uh, work through this and that we can as we this stuff as people are suffering and as people feel injustices uh have ex that they experience and they've experienced at the hand of law enforcement we hear them we see them we, we recognize it and we acknowledge and we're part of it uh, but this is not the solution uh what we're doing to to control this and what i want to assure L la is we haven't given up we haven't given up on la and, and, and la should not give up on itself we we can pull around this what we need to do is come to terms with understanding people are hurting, they're going through a great grief and, and anger and frustration, and we need to find a narrative that finds an opportunity to have progress, but this is not progress. And, I, and, and so I'm signaling to people that we will not fix this. Policing doesn't fix these type of societal ills. Uh, and, and so I need, I need all of Los Angeles to step forward uh, to be a part of the solution. Do you have any idea how many arrests you've made or what the level is of the looting? It's extensive. Uh, we will continue to make arrests uh, as a last consequence, as a result of, uh, of attacks on, on our personnel, on example of looting, of, of uh, vandalism. Uh, we're trying to avoid arrests for simply uh, refusing to leave a closed area. But in those instances, once an area becomes embroiled with such violence and such dangers, dangerous circumstances and such such damage, if you will, to the economy and the very livelihood of a community, uh, it's an unsafe area. It's an unsafe circumstance. And whether a person is there with the most righteous grievance in the world, just as every other disaster, they've got to leave, not only for their own safety, but for the safety of the community. And that's why I'm asking tonight, again, as many people who are hurting, that want to be heard and want to be seen and want to know that, the, that we're listening. Uh, but the way to achieve that is not through violence, it's not through setting fires, it's not through attacking police officers, it's not through jeopardizing life. And we are doing that. Now, LAPD, our public safety agencies, we, we're leaning in and we're, and, and I, we're going to do everything we can to counter that, those forces that are, that are seizing this moment and taking advantage of it. Um, but, but with that, I need, we need a lot of help. I thank you so much for taking time out. I appreciate it. Chief Moore. That was the chief of the LAPD, Don, in this moment where there was looting, a fire, and this protest that started so peacefully that somehow wound up in so much violence. Back to you, Don. I think the last time I saw anything like this, I don't